Hi, my name is Floris Gerber. I am from the group Jacama. I want to give you a short yet in-depth review of the this 15th century breastplate um, which is made by a lot of battles and which I purchased at Zeughaus, which is a German site, so you can see I'm not a native speaker. Please, I apologize beforehand for my awful German accent. So, um, this plate is very cheap, not in, in make, but in price. And um, yeah, let's go about, about the pros and cons of it. Let's get the most important thing out of the way first. How much protection does this armor offer? Actually, quite a lot. It is um, made of sturdy 1.6 mm of steel, which should offer enough protection for most things, except perhaps heavy duty full contact combat. And um, it is quite um, form stable. I had to try to bend a little it a little because uh, the salesman said yes this badge is a little bit narrow more on that later so I should bend it a little bit into my form into my needed form and it was uh, hard work to do that I had to do actually push-ups on it and it didn't want to bend off okay um, the problem with this plate it is a little bit short we will see later um, when I put it on you can see it does not go up to my hips my hips are Oh, here we do an insert shot. Here is the insert shot. I hope you can see my legs. Um, as you can see, um, this is not actually my hip line. This is about the height of my belly button. So my hip line would be here. I mean that offers me the flexibility, flexibility to kick. But um, on the other hand, uh, I have this much belly which is not protected of the soft tissue. It is a little bit too short in my opinion. And it's um, so I I give this plate a four out of five stars when it comes to protection. Functionality. Um, I can give you something which none of the sites that offer this armor give you. I can give you a back um, back look at this armor, and here we can see something quite good, and that is this armor is actually segmented. I mean, it doesn't only look segmented, but it is segmented. And the segments do actually work. So you can see in here, here are rivets sitting in slits, which allow for a certain degree of movement. I'm not sure if you can see this, but this rivet should move up to here, which it doesn't, because here um, the armor is a little bit bent out of shape. It was that before I tried to bend it, and it got better with time, so I have to use a lot of power and I can't do it at the moment to, um, to use the full, um, the full scaling of this slit and we have such slits too here and here, that means this armor offers actually a surprising amount of mobility oh, and the lower segment is a segment in name only, it moves about a woof perhaps one centimeter, that doesn't do much. I mean, it's nice that it moves at all, but um, it doesn't move much. As usual, the cutout for the arms is a little bit too small. That means I'm, I'm touching the upper part and the lower part when I try to move my arm here. And as usual, which is a problem for two-handed sword fighters only, I can't really um, put my hands together and I'm not really mobile because this length is too wide. Um, I will have to mod this at some point. Um, I will put a link in the, the description when I get to making my modding tutorial for this armor. I knew beforehand that it would be too wide. All armors are nearly all armors are too wide in this segment, and uh, I actually I wanted to buy a cheap one because I knew I would have to destroy it in some way. Overall, I give this armor a 3.5 out of five possible stars for functionality. The deductions come from the upper segment not fully working in my copy of the plate, which can probably be corrected by putting in some slightly longer rivets, and the cutouts for the arms being too small. Just because I said that this is a problem most armors share, it doesn't mean it is not still a problem. Keep in mind that these 3.5 stars are in disregard of the fitting of the plate, which I will judge separately. 
Next up is interior. I showed you the back side um, of the plate. Here I want to mention something. This is about interior safety. I want to mention that um, all these little rivets are really, really, really nicely and well ground down. So I, I have high hopes that these rivets won't cut um, holes into my gamison. Also the rolled edges are actually very, very, very well rolled. Um, there are some edges which aren't rolled, um, these and these notably, and these will cut holes into a gamison, but this is easy to fix. I will have to, um, will have to cut off these, these edges because they can just cut into my shoulders, but uh, I think I will tell you something more about that later. So um, this is actually quite good and I've seen um, custom made armors with much worse screws and rivets. One little thing I will count towards interior is that these um, buckles are a tiny little bit too pointy and if you move your arms like this you will, um, you will probably cut your gums on a little. I would do some, some, some wrap around these things if I had to go all day with this plate. So, um, altogether, it's a, it's a really good showing. I give this plate um, 4 out of 5 stars for interior. About um, the exterior and safety of the edges. Okay, I already said that the, that the rolled edges are really, really nice. Really well, well done. No, no sharp bits at all. Um, the problem is this thing. While it looks really nice, I think it does. Um, it is quite sharpish and it is the jacks are too sharp and pointy, very simply put. Um, this one also sticks a little bit out, um, which makes it more dangerous. There are three problems here. Um, problem number one is close combat. If someone um, tries to grab me and slides down here, he will just hurt himself very badly. I think he will cut open his hand. Second thing is for longsword fighters, we have to reach across here all the time. And I think you will cut your gummies on, on that. And third is, um, now every reenactment snob, do not listen for a minute, okay? The third thing is, when I cut this with a lab weapon like that, I think um, there are quite high chances that the lab weapon gets destroyed. This, by the way, is already destroyed. This was not a fault of the weapon, it was a fault of the fool who wielded it. One of our beginners uh, used it wrongly. Okay, now we are just trying to see if we can... Okay, not, not that close to my nose, but we... Okay, did we get a cut? Oh, only a very small cut, I will... Come on, give it another good way. Here are the pictures. As you can see, the first cut is small, visible only when I pull it open. The second cut is a lot deeper and more harmful to the weapon. As it stands, I would think that you would not make the weapons and armor check of any LARPCON with the armor as is. So as is, I would give the exterior safety of this armor a 4 out of 5 stars for enactment use and a 2 out of 5 stars for LARP use. Keep in mind though that this edge is a quite easy to solve problem. Glue a decorative strap of leather upon the edge, problem mostly gone. Next up is fitting. I bought this armor as a 3XL. Now I'm 1 meter and 78 centimeters of height. I'm not really tall and I'm not that fat and my arms are not my arms are strong because I lift salts all day but I'm not a power lifter so I think a 3XL should fit me. And um, let me tell you that the 3XL is made for the measures of 116 to 126 centimeters of um, breast and if I show you for a second yeah. Whoop. I'm actually uh, t uh, 123 centimeters of breast width, breast width, so it should fit me. Um, unfortunately, the sale, uh, the circus page uh, does not tell me if I should have this with my gambeson or without my gambeson. 
I rather guess it was without my gambeson big f big mistake as I soon learned. When I got the armor, it said here, straight on my ribs, not here, if you can't see it in the deck, uh, dark background. So uh, I had to bend it open a lot, which was quite, quite a job. And um, even then, even right now, it does not fit under my gambeson. I will try to show you. Okay, mm, more, more on that. The straps are too short. I have really have difficulties um, to 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 get this hmm. once more. Really have difficulties to get this strap to close, and that is without my gambeson. It gets much worse when I put my gambeson actually on because that it is not a loud gambeson. It is quite a hard and strong gambeson made by. Medieval Market, link in the description, very good site. Um, but for once I'm really afraid to cut into my gambeson with this and this edge. And um, even if I <sighs> bend it open so it somehow fits over I'm quite afraid for my gambeson right now. <sighs> over my gambeson, please I need some help. That's not enough. Gib mir mal dieses, dieses Strap hier und tu ihn mal nach da. As you can see, uh, where her hand is, that strap's never gonna fit this buckle. It's just impossible. This, these straps are far too small. Okay, I am of the opinion that this plate is not actually a 2XL, but a medium, probably. Update. I put this armor onto some of my training partners which actually do wear medium sized clothing and um, it was with the gambeson a tightish fit so as it stands I give this armor a 0 out of 5 stars for fitting because the sizing information given by the vendor just does not fit any reality keep in mind though that the vendor also has a really really good return policy, so you do not lose any money if you just make them send you a plate and if it does not fit, send it back. What I like most about this plate is how, how it has a real simple look, a real, real nice look in its simplicity, if it would fit me, and it fits well with my existing equipment, and I think because it is so simple, it would fit helmet, helmet made by Wolfram, by the way. Very nice. And because it has such a simple look, I think it will fit with quite a lot of different equipment and I give it a whopping 5 out of 5 star for looks. On the page I thought it looked quite plasticky, but in real life it just doesn't. It looks like well-made metal. Okay, let's um, in the last part speak about cost to performance ratio. Uh, I think it's actually really good. This is a great looking piece of steel and if you are let's say medium sized and thus can buy a big armor <laughs> and if you do not uh, if you are not afraid to um, have anyone impale himself on your little armor spikes there are very little problems on this armor uh, and if you don't use a two-handed weapon. Okay I, for me, the problem is I will have to mod this um, armor extensively. I will have to cover this with leather. I will have to um, grind down these points and cover it with leather. I will have to grind down this point and cover it with leather. And I think I will have to segment the plate here. All of this in the hopefully soon to come link in the description. And um, but these are um, my problems, and I knew that I would buy this very cheap plate because I had to mod it because I knew that I had to segment some plate at some point and um, it actually surprised me a lot because of its high quality so I give it 4 out of 5 stars so let's recap I gave this armor a 4 out of 5 possible stars for protection. I gave it a 3.5 stars for functionality. I gave it a 4 out of 5 for interior. 
and interior safety. I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars for exterior and exterior safety when in when it comes to reenactment. I gave it a 2 out of 5 stars for exterior safety in regards of live action roleplay. I gave it a harsh 0 out of 5 stars for fitting. This might be not so bad if you have a smaller body than me. A 5 out of 5 star for looks and a 4 out of 5 stars for cost to performance ratio. The deduction coming from the fact that even if I did not want to segment the plate further, I would have to grind down a few edges, bend it into shape, cover the spikes if I wanted to use it in lab, replace that middle rivet which doesn't move um, as it should with a longer one, etc. All very simple mods, but still time and thus money consuming. So, altogether, I give this plate a combined score of 3.5 in regards to a reenactment and a 3.2 stars in regards of live action roleplay use. Well, that's quite a strong showing. So, that's it from me. Go to my site, to our site, for further long reviews and have a nice day.